This season marks the 40th anniversary of one of Wofford's greatest campaigns on the gridiron. The 1970 Terriers marched through the regular season undefeated 11-0 and advanced all the way to the NAIA National Championship game held at Serene Stadium in Greenville. Only two other Wofford teams have completed a regular season undefeated, the 1949 squad and Wofford's first season, a 2-0 campaign in 1889. Needless to say, the 1970 Terriers are in rare company. The Terriers were coached by Jim Brakefield, who was named the AFCA District Regional Coach of the Year, as well as the State of South Carolina Coach of the Year in 1970. The 69-70 Terriers hold the record for most consecutive wins in school history. Walford rattled off 20 straight wins beginning September 26, 1969 at Furman and ending December 12, 1970 at the NAIA National Title Game. This team trails only the 12-2 2003 Terriers for most wins in a season. Quarterback Harold Chandler, number 18, was voted the team's MVP and passed for 1,610 yards while completing a record 113 passes, both are records that still stand today. Wide receiver Skip Korn, number 87, ranks third all-time in receptions for a season with 46 and trails only Jerry Richardson for most yards in a single game. Walford had a potent ground game as well, led by backs Bobby Jordan, number 30, and Clifford Boyd, number 45. They ended their careers in the top eight in rushing yards. Boyd's 1,022 yards ranks him as only one of 15 players to top 1,000 yards in a single season, and both collected five 100-yard rushing games in 1970. Guard Sterling Allen, number 51, was named to the Associated Press Little All-America second team along with Skip Korn. Allen was also on the Kodak Little All-America first team and named to the AFCA All-America team. Kicker Randy Bringman, number 25, ranks third in career kicking points and connected on 34 straight PATs in 1970, the fourth longest streak all time. Ray Monroe's 96-yard kickoff return against Newberry is tied for the longest in school history. Scooter White holds the record for most punts in a season with 70 in 1970 and again in 1972. He remains the leader in career punt yardage as well. Chuck Whit, number 42, collected 10 career interceptions and still is in the top 10 all-time. Teammate Ed Weil, number 21, ranks fourth all-time in career interception return yards. Ronnie Wilson, Jim Johnson, Korn, and Bill Reese were all named to the NAIA All-America team, while defensive end Henry Medlock was an NAIA All-District selection. Chandler, Reese, Korn, Medlock, and Boyd were all named to the South Carolina All-State team. Forty years later, we celebrate the 1970 Terriers and their magical season.